Welcome to Nordco's hydraulic tutorial on basic hydraulic symbols and controls. While viewing this PowerPoint, you may pause the slide at any time for further review. These are examples of different line designations and function. Examples of pumps. A pump will always be identified by the internal arrow pointing out of the circle. Examples of motors and cylinders. A motor will always be identified by the internal arrow pointing into the center of the circle. Cylinders can be either double acting or single acting. Examples of miscellaneous units and symbols. These are a variety of valve examples. These are a variety of methods of operation for valves and pumps. Examples of quick disconnects. This is a cutaway view of a variable displacement inline piston pump. As the pump rotates with the swash plate at a defined angle, this causes the pistons to reciprocate and deliver oil. The variation in pump displacement is controlled by the swash plate angle. This occurs when an external cylinder or motor is actuated. The larger the difference between the inlet piston and outlet piston, the more flow will be delivered. The pressure compensator controls pump outlet pressure. This is done by the spring and spool in the compensator. The spool is lifted off the seat to cause the yoke actuating piston to move the swash plate back to a zero degree angle and provide the set operating pressure. A relief valve is the main overpressure protection valve for a hydraulic system. Pressure is sensed on the inlet side of the valve. If pressure goes above preset value, oil is diverted directly to tank. A pressure reducing valve is used to regulate operating pressure in its dedicated circuit. Pressure is sensed on the outlet side of the valve. Example of a simple check valve. This is an example of a pilot to close check valve. A pilot line is used to hold the poppet valve against the seat preventing any flow. In the case of a pilot to open check valve, a pilot line is used to push the poppet valve off the seat allowing flow. Example of a fixed value flow control with pressure compensated control. Pressure compensated simply means the flow control will always try to provide the same regulated flow no matter what the external load is. Example of a variable value flow control with pressure compensated control. Example of a two-stage valve configuration. Example of a simple regen circuit. The theory behind regeneration is to gain increased speed of the cylinder without installing a larger pump. This only works when the piston area is larger than the rod area and the external load is at a minimum. Example of built-in cylinder cushions. A cylinder nears end of stroke, oil then gets diverted through designated ports to slow down cylinder to provide controlled stop. Thank you for viewing the Nordco Hydraulic Tutorial.